We got our nice weather back. It's been raining for a bit, but we got about five or six days scheduled of this really beautiful weather. It's gonna be a little bit warm, but that's okay. It's dry. Things are gonna start drying out. And more importantly, we're gonna side this chicken coop with T111 today so that we can get everything dried in and move these chickens into their new home. Yeah, right now with our current chicken coop, we have a lot of chickens in a small space. We're spending about 30 minutes to an hour to wrangle them all up and get them into the coop because in Alaska, the sun doesn't really go down. So the chickens don't have that internal motivation to really go by themselves. And we really have to, well, we have to chase after them yeah. and put them up. <laughs> yeah, normally, normally we wouldn't worry about that, but the run that they have isn't the most secure thing and there's dogs we have to worry about there's uh, lynx there's bear there's all sorts of you know weasel or i think there's uh what are they uh uh the ferret yeah weasel. i know no no no. it's uh oh my gosh it starts with the m muskrat no marmots no they're, they're 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 white and they have a black tail. Yeah, they're, the they're beautiful. Minks. Yeah, minks. Yeah. Okay, minks. <laughs> yeah, Martins. Martins. Okay. Yeah. All right. And there's Martins. <laughs> so what they'll do is they'll sneak in and they can kill the chicks. And the bigger one, the bigger stuff can kill the chickens. And it'll only take a few minutes for a dog to get in there and kill just everything. So. And bears. And bears, yeah. <laughs> and owls and hawks and yep. eagles, bald eagles. We got a lot of predators here, so we really do want to build this run. This run we are going to build is going to be more secure. And so we can just let them, you know, go in on their own at night. And that's going to save us time because we, we don't like doing this every night. Right. We're so this... really, we're really excited about not having chickens in our house. We have, uh, Oh my gosh, I don't know how many years, I feel about 10 years every year we have chickens in our house and we, we have a small house and it's, it's not fun to have, I mean, they're so adorable and cute and stuff, but there's chickens inside your house, you know, in a big stock tank in a tiny house. <laughs> yeah, it's an annual conversation that Amy and I have about, do we really want to do this again this year? And I love my wife. <laughs> So we raise chickens inside the house. There we year. do, we do. But our goal is with this, we're gonna have different staging areas and we're no longer to, going to be doing that. We really planned and future proof this, not to say we won't be building one in five or 10 years yeah. as well, but for now, this is a good design for us to really have those staging, various staging areas to take the, the pressure off us, both of you know wrangling them up and having chickens in the house. I'm sure we're gonna make a lot of mistakes. Let us know in the comments what you see that we did wrong. But we'll go ahead and, and you can join us on this little this little mission today. Yeah. Another cool aspect of having this area cleared and it's all dry right now, is that we've unloaded the trailer with all the OSB and other building materials. So we can actually load all the T111 down by the house and drive it up here. And that's gonna save us a lot of energy. I keep inhaling bugs. Oh man. I don't know what they yeah. want. I guess they anyway, just want to I'm eating a lot of no seams today. I'm going to skip these crickets everybody's talking about and go straight to just <laughs> direct deposit from the no seams. Yeah, so we have the T111 down there, and we're going to load on the trailer and bring it up, and that's going to be a huge time saver and wear and tear on our body, really. Yeah. Because uh, there's a lot to move. So here we go. Yeah, here we go. All right.
I don't know what else I could have done though. Like we had to put the shipping container there. I think the only thing we should have done is made it higher because I, I didn't think about it at the time. I don't know time. how high we can go. I don't know how high it's, it's safe and then what's convenient to do. Well, they put them on top of other ones. I guess that's true. So, because you just need that base around the, the steel, the heavy. And I don't think we like that one. Oh, did you? Okay. What? Do you want to check it out? Uh, yeah, I've already read it, but I, I like rereading. Well, is there? You always do, Dad. <laughs> and Mom always does. Too. How can that be? Well, I've chosen. I know Dad's chosen one. One is all I can think of. And then I. A new day with sunshine again. Yes, a new day. <laughs> ah, new day. <laughs> Well, yesterday we fell short on getting the entire project wrapped with the siding. Today, this this morning, we're going to go ahead and finish that up. But in order to do that, we have split the difference and decided to use our 10-foot sections of T111 on the sides. That way, we don't have to make any weird cuts on other sheets. Otherwise, we'd be going through one and a quarter eight-foot sheets, and we just want to maximize our stuff here uh structurally we felt like this was the best decision to make it more structurally sound to use the 10 feet and cut from there yeah so unfortunately the 10 foot sections of t111 are all under the eight foot sections of t111 but we have a good plan <laughs> yeah we drove the trailer down here we're going to load all these eight foot sections on first and then we're going to load enough 10 foot sections up i think we need six mm -hmm. and then we're going to drive everything back up to the site and then we're gonna unload the 10 footers and then we're gonna take the eight footers that are remaining and we're gonna take them over to a new project area, which is uh, a new project that we're gonna be doing down the road. Go that way. Good. Yeah. Go that way. Oh, 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 gosh, Dad. Right. Honey, go that way. You're, you're going in the beds or. Uh-oh. Don't go here. No, you're just doing that, great. That wheel might go over. No, I think we're fine. Perfect. There we go. Thing you do. I gotta, I'm gonna grab my ear protection here. Oh yeah, it's all in this bag. Okay. I brought all the ear and eye protection. So this is what makes Richard feel good. Every uh, building we build, he builds a little uh, organizing, what would you call it? Place to put stuff. Place to put stuff. Um, I like it, I like it. And it's also, you have to buy it because it's my store. Yeah, and then and Liliana turns it into her store. Liliana always has a store that kind of can charge expensive prices. Yeah, boy, she was really taking advantage. <laughs> during, when, the during the pandemic. <laughs> Remember you were charging us like $5 a, dollars a screw or yeah. something? I have it on tape. We, there's no tapes anymore. I have, it on, I have it on video. I have proof. You're a, you're a profiteer. <laughs> Happy with where it's at? Yeah. You can put them in the center though, for my OCD. Mm -hmm. I wonder if we should back that off. I was thinking the same thing. Yeah, let's adjust it. Do we need to push this stud out a little bit? Young one. I, I'm doing that. 
<laughs> you don't need to do any math. I do because... It's 38 and 3 eighths. I know. I know. But you're trying to figure out what the other one's going to be? No. No, no, no. Which is the best to cut this way first or that way first? No, I can't. I can't tell you. Uh, I don't know, right? Maybe that was in third one. I'm actually really embarrassed I never thought about counting by two. <laughs> I would have done this well. I'm going to be perfectly blunt. Uh, yeah? I don't know. It, me, right? Yeah, it I, looks... I look real good. Tack it up. Set it down. Okay. And then I'll bring it up. Yeah. I'll bring it up. Okay. Okay. Is this? Oh man, I was like, oh, if this lines up perfectly, I'd be awesome. That'd be, that'd be okay. Uh, that's okay though. So. Uh, we'll so, line it up where it needs to right. be, and then I'll so lift this, it up. So that ridge, we want in the middle of that. Yep. It's going to poke out a little bit that way, but we're going to trim that, that at the end. Oh, do I need... Oh, you got it! Is it just me or is that uh, not level? I don't know. Okay. Okay. I don't know. Oh, baby, your neck.
wonder if he's a two. I'm just hitting him. Yeah, we do. So we have a catastrophe on the homestead. Uh, our window's broken. Yeah. What's your theory, Richard? I think that in the flood it got a bunch of water in it and then that water froze. That is a very logical theory. <laughs> well, that's poopy. Okay. Yeah, well, I mean, this side's okay over here, right? Yeah. And then. Is that other side cracked? Uh, I don't know if this other frame is, but I don't know if I'm gonna put a window up where it's broken. Yeah, that makes... Because one of the kids can get hurt, or we can get hurt. There's no magic window tape? No. Well, you can see right there that it's actually glued to the other frame, so that's, or to the other pane of glass, so that's, that's too much work. So we'll, we'll have to, we'll have to replace it with something else. We'll go with a temporary fix now. This is one of the coolest things that we got a long time ago. It picks up all the metal. It's a big magnet strip. So it's really handy for picking up all those staples that you missed, especially in areas where chickens are at. Because chickens will eat anything. Okay, time to put the flooring in here. We'll just get this all covered with the vinyl flooring, and then we'll start building up a, a little bit of a wall in here for for some storage, some nest box, and then a little area for the chicks. Richard, do you enjoy doing flooring? Do I enjoy it? Mm-hmm. Inquiring minds want to know. I just noticed you always kind of do it. It's one thing that you just kind of do. Well, it feels like you have to do it. Oh, <laughs> does it? Yeah. I can do it. You just well, don't like misaligned stuff. <laughs> I like I like things straight. <laughs> For the most part. That whole symmetry thing. Yeah. Overrated. <laughs> so I was explaining to the person what I wanted at the local hardware chain. And at first he takes me to the, the clearance area, which I was like, okay, okay. And then I'm doing a cost analysis and I was like, hey, wait, this is still... You know, more than I this, yeah. more than I was wanting to spend. And he's like, well, I can give you I can give you more because it's like a, I think it said 30% discount. And I said, well, he said, I can give you more of a discount depending which flooring you pick. Because if it's a special order, there's only this much left, you know. Oh. And they need to get, you know, they want to get rid of it because it's just sitting there taking up space. He's like, I can do it, you know, 50 or, or more percent. Was this something that somebody ordered and left over? There were various. There were multiple, multiple options. But it wasn't this kind of thing. It was, you know, flooring you lay and, you know, some may have involved of an underlayment and things like that. And then I was like, well, do you have, you know, just rolls of vinyl flooring? And so he took me over and, you know, it was about 50 bucks. For, and they said the dimensions. He's like, yeah, you just need two of these. And I was like, okay. Because <laughs> we don't have to cut it. We don't have to lay it. We just, you know, right. roll it down and then the floor is protected.
solution. You have, I don't even know if we can see this. Hardware it. fabric temporarily screwed it with the two by four. Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As far as I can go. Are we worried about baby six getting up in there and falling back here? we can move both our chicks and our pullets into here and not have any chickens in the house. Right. So Today, we're gonna do that. going forward. Yep. For the rest of our lives. Yep. Little arm break real quick. Little arm break. You I have to okay? take you have to take some arm breaks. No, stop it. They keep getting on top of each other. <laughs> You guys are so adorable. They're just all together. They're just all together. Did you put them all in there? Yeah, no, just there. Loving. You want to climb up here? No. I'll get the bucket. I'm going to get the back, okay? Alright. Well, I don't know if the bucket's going to work for those. Okay. Two down. Ten to go. We were able to move the chickens into the coop successfully. So now, no loss of life. No loss of life. <laughs> We've got this window that we need to finish up. We need to finish up putting some felt paper up on the roof and then get it roofed. Yep. And then we got to finish a door. Yep. Yeah. And that's, I think we're going to do that all in the next video. We, uh, well, we, we got to find a window. We got to find a window first. <laughs> a cheap window. Yeah, a cheap window. <laughs> We don't want to put like a brand new one in here. We're going to get a free or a cheap window. This is like a six by six foot by four foot rough opening. And we will probably have to modify that because we know that's uh, quite a sizable window, which yeah. we can easily do. Yeah. But we do want to let a lot of light in, mm -hmm. especially during the winter. Here. We're done with this step. It's a yeah. uh, move in this ready. This step's or, all finished. Yeah. 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 We still got to do the run as well. So we're really excited about that. But we're so excited to have the chickens out of the house. So yeah. excited to have the chickens out. Yeah, this is almost done. We thought we'd wrap it up this video, but there's still quite a bit to do. So you'll have to put up with chicken coop for one more. <laughs> Again, always, thank you for watching. We Thanks. really appreciate your time. Thank you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching.